Well, we got an American white pelican in on Saturday, um, late Saturday night, um, after some rescue volunteers picked him up from Oliver. Um, he was at a lake in Oliver. Um, he unfortunately looks like he was injured there. Um, the locals said that he was there for about two to three weeks, so we don't actually know how long he was um, grounded for and when his flock left him, but we're suspecting two to three weeks. Um, he came into us and we observed him with some pretty painful injuries. They're consistent with fish hook injuries. He had a couple punctures, large lacerations, some missing tissue, and, and, and very underweight, quite starved. Uh, emaciated, dehydrated, and not doing the best. The pelican wouldn't have survived out there if we didn't pick him up. Um, it, there would have been a large frost or snow or the food um, shortage, um, or he might have become painful and infected and he wouldn't have survived, he would have died probably within a couple weeks, more than likely. The stress level of the American white pelican is quite they're quite high in captivity, so we need to be very aware of that. We need to make sure we stand by and we're, we reduce stress as much as possible. So we do things for enrichment for him, like pools, natural food diet. Um, we also give him mirrors and other things too, to help him feel like he has a companion there. So he actually spends most of his time next to the mirror, hanging out with his, um, his mirror friend. <laughs> He's really adorable. So we would always want to make sure that if you have like species we would house them together but he is the only one and we're not going to bring another one to um, house with him because being captivity isn't the best thing for them so we're going to make sure that he has his mere friend and that he's doing everything he can to enrich him so he doesn't get stressed and doesn't get bored or sad. He seems like he's very comfortable and happy to be here with us. Um, he's doing really well and he's recovering really well and the other thing I want to add is that um, if you do see an injured animal in the wild to call us immediately. We serve all of BC. We want to make sure that we respond to these animals sooner and if we have the opportunity to care for this animal before he gets infected and emaciated then we have a better chance of survival so anytime we get an opportunity we want to try to rescue them as soon as possible.